we leave our comfort zone when we don't know what's on the other side? We just have to take the first step. They always say every journey begins with the first step. And taking the first step is the absolute only way to get out of our comfort zone. Your girl is gonna go back. Um, I'm gonna miss my son, but my weekend is over and I'm going back to continue my assignment. Um, the good thing is I'm looking forward to go to work, so that makes things a little bit better, but I'm gonna miss my boy again. But it's all for our benefit, so, yep. hey what's up what's up what's up everybody this is your girl sim sima and today is my second time going that way I'm going back to that little city in that little town where i am traveling for my nursing assignment um you already know four hours to go but um you know i have to talk to the people like all the time so i am just checking in with you guys um i i feel renewed you know coming home spending time home and whatever because oh boy i didn't know how easy it is to get homesick when you are obviously away from home but guys it's not easy it's definitely not easy but when you've got goals it's definitely worth it um and in a little bit though we're gonna be talking you know about that we are definitely gonna be talking about comfort zones um getting out of your comfort zones when do comfort zones become danger zones and you know what crippled or crippling these comfort zones can we're gonna be talking about today but let me settle in on my journey um let a few friends and family know that i am headed out um uh, probably i'll wait until i hit that that highway um, probably like a hundred and something miles probably about a hundred and twelve miles or I think so about a hundred and twelve miles um, or a hundred and something hundred and a lot of miles on um, I-45 and then you know I'll touch base with you guys then all right bye okay Sim Sima Posse I am settled in on my journey it's actually 132 miles on I-45 um, before I, you know, it's one straight highway, but I just moved from one highway into the next, uh, which is really, really good. Well, it's good. It can be good and it can be a little bit bad because driving one straight road, 
you you get you 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 don't stay as alert as if you're looking for turns, you know that kind of thing. But it's good for driving, and it's good especially if you don't like driving and finding directions like me. I absolutely hate having have to find where to turn, and I absolutely hate highways with um, road signs like this you're in the wrong lane if you're in the wrong lane then you get taken in the wrong direction completely and then it's at a 20 or 30 minutes turnaround time to your drive time you know so i'm so glad it's not like this it's really really like that in houston and i absolutely hate it um so let's talk comfort zones um what are these what are comfort zones um comfort zones are really um, any anything any situation that makes us feel comfortable you know it's where we anxiety anxiety is what um, gets the best of us so we get anxious when we feel like we're stepping outside of our comfort zone we get anxious when we feel like we are tossed in a new situation and we get anxious when we feel like things are not going as we normally have them going you know things are not going as planned our routine has been um, de derailed you know by whatever reason sometimes it's nothing sometimes it's derailed by major life events and you know how do we deal with it how do we cope um, so let's talk about, as I said, this comfort zone. Some of us comfort zones are really smaller than others. Um, I don't think my comfort zone is very small, but it takes a lot for me to leave my comfort zone. A lot. It really does take a lot. But when I do leave my comfort zone, um, often than not, you know, I am comfortable. You know outside of that comfort zone um, I learn it's like I enter the learning zone and I do not necessarily I I think I go into panic zone before I actually leave my comfort zone so I'll panic a little bit I'll research 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 I'll talk about it talk about it talk about it but once I step out you know then I'm usually okay and I realized that with me in a lot of areas in my life okay let's talk about that job most of us jobs are we don't like it you know it doesn't do it for us we wake up in the morning and we don't want to go to work but guess what we stay because it is stable it pays our bills we get our checks it is routine and you know it works but for our mental health does it really work um take me for example um so i changed jobs recently just last summer and i love nursing and i i honestly i did not like my job i do not do overtime and anybody who knows me know that i am the queen of overtime i will put the extra work in i will I will do overtime because when I get my pay I like to smile and say yes I did that you know that kind of thing so I didn't even want to do my regular shifts you know that's so I didn't like the environment at all and it's not that it's it wasn't a new area in nursing um, I just did not like I like the people that I work with but um, there's a but when it comes on to like management or whatever you know I really didn't like that environment so what's the option I have thought about traveling for a while even before I got into this job and just the thought of thinking about traveling it is so anxiety provoking I'm like nope not doing it not gonna do it no 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 it's not for everybody it's definitely not for me and I stay in my comfort zone my comfort zone in that point is a staff nurse job you know and all the securities and the the pseudo securities that comes with having a, a staff nurse job and 
because I'm a person like this. When I do my work, I want to do it meticulously. I want to make sure I know what I'm doing. In other words, me no love look like me an idiot. I want to know me I do, and I want to do it good. And I feel like when you go to travel, um, you know, it's like you get thrown out in the wild and you either sink or swim. And that is what gives me anxiety because when it comes on to my patients, I want to make sure they're getting the best. And I don't know if I can give them my best if I am anxious and just grabbing to straw and trying to survive, trying to make it. And that is why, well, that is one of the reasons why I never, you know, attempted to, to take a travel assignment. But um, sometimes it takes pushes. Um, sometimes it takes certain situations to let you say, you know what, whatever, I'm out. I am stepping out of this comfort zone and come what may. You know what I mean? Because we all know the, the COVID um, pandemic. We all know how that's going. And one of the reasons why I shy away from, you know, traveling when I, you know, everybody I've seen, oh, it's paying good, and I shy away from it because I'm like, nah, I am asthmatic. Jalen is asthmatic. I'm not gonna go out there and put us at risk, you know, to make extra money. But things change, and when I realized that my unit was gonna be, you know, converted to a COVID unit, I'm like, hell no. This is the moment, this is the time. I am going to step out and I'm, I'm gonna, because there's a lot of travel nurses at my um, facility. A lot of travel nurses keep coming in. So if they are getting paid to do it, why don't I go somewhere where I can get paid to do it too? Since we are paying travel nurses a whole lot more and we're not giving a two shits about our staff nurses and what they deserve you know for working in these hazardous um conditions so that was the, the the that was what did it for me and as i said i have goals and there's comes a time when you realize that you just need to um go after those goals you know come what may you have to go after those goals because the, the truth is you're not getting any younger and you definitely do not have forever right um, so that's it for a job um, another thing that keeps us comfortable too is um, relationships social relationships intimate relationships kinships you know we stay friends with this person because we feel like oh they've been my best friend for so long they know me inside out they know everything about me I don't want to go get new friends I have friends in all walks of my life everywhere that I have been every school that I have been to every community that I have resided in I have friends there and I keep in touch with probably like 95% um, of all of these people and why is that this is because we build this relationship we step out I step out of my comfort zone of just having this one or two friends and you know and it works out because sometimes you really do need people in your corner and the truth is your friends have their life their lives to live too and each person that friend or that one friend is not gonna be able to help you in all situations so sometimes you have to call on, on other people to help and as they say one hand washes the other hand so they help you you help them and at the end of the day that's just that you know um, relationships oh my god don't let me get started those are the worst comfort zones to be in and we they can be so crippling and we never know when these comfort zones actually turn into danger zones um, they sometimes we're like oh I've been with this person for so long um, they know everything about me I can't be bothered with starting over you know those kind of things but um, 
sometimes we just have to follow what's in here sometimes we just have to do what makes us happy sometimes we just have to do what keeps our mental health balanced because um, these relationships sometimes can be so toxic even though the person doesn't realize it just the mere fact of always feeling like you are the one reaching out or you're the glue that's trying to keep the relationship together you know kind of thing that alone in itself can cause for a toxic relationship without you even realizing it you know um, when do I walk away from this job when do I walk away from this friendship when do I walk away from this relationship when do I walk away from this living you know arrangement do I, when do I leave this community because as far as we know these are our zones that we've been made comfortable in and the fear of not knowing what's on the other side the fear of you know we always say you don't want to jump out a frying pan and jump into fire but sometimes honestly maybe the fire burns way less than being in the oil in the frying pan you never know you know and you know it's easier said than done but to each his own and at the end of the day we just have to know when to leave our comfort zone why is it so hard to leave um, our comfort zone it's the anxiety about it all it is the anxiety about it all um, we know that um, anxiety provoking situations can take a toll on our mental health and as humans we do the most human thing that we know we avoid these situations but is that always the best choice no it's not it's not always the best choice um, and it's not always the best option but do we choose it anyways yes absolutely you know our comfort zones are hard to get out of yes but is it impossible no no it's not it's definitely not um, we just need to know we just need to have a plan and once you have a plan then time will take care of the rest of, of it so there you have it Sim Sim a Pussy um, um, or talk about comfort zones just comment down below let me know what your comfort zone is let me know if there's ever a time when you manage to leave your comfort zone how that worked out for you and I mean if you're trying to leave your comfort zone right now just know that sometimes um, there's no such thing as the grass is greener on the other side but at least there's grass you can go there and you can water it you know um, so just live a little you know um, take that risk take that chance you never know how things might work out for you and just you know as i love to say like night just do it um so yeah can you do it yes yes you can yes i can see si se puede yeah um okay guys so comment like share subscribe tell a friend to tell a friend sim sima um, channel is up I'm trying to get you know some content in for you guys it's kind of a busy time right now but I'm gonna try to keep you engaged um, but believe me when I tell you I have a lot planned in the works and I am definitely gonna bring them forward for you as we grow together okay until next time guys peace out okay guys look at me rushing 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 to get to work let me tell you something your girl went into her hotel room and tried to get an hour nap and as refreshing as the nap is um i felt really 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 awake but boy the sleep did sweet i almost not get up Lord Jesus, a good thing was say, Melanie, come knock on my door in case, you know, me no wake up by such and such. Just knock on my door such and such time. Because, me sleep through the alarm when me set for 6 o'clock. 
and me, who knows i probably would have slept through the one for 615 but that is good yeah i'm on route to work um so i'll talk to you guys okay bye this is me this is me so i was floated to another unit um well i have three patients no pca no techs but um lucky for me only one of my patients is incontinent so it's been a good night so far i mean it's just past 11 i'm already done with all of my charting all of my med pass um, i'm just trying to go get an antibiotic for my patient but it's a good night it's a good night guys mm -hmm.